Welcome to the next video of our complete engine rebuild guide. In this one we will remove the cylinder and the piston. In today's video we will take a look at what tools we need to complete this job, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it, and in the end we will do a hardware roundup to make sure that we do not lose any of our precious hardware. To make following the content easier you can pause this video at any moment. That said, let's take a look at what tools we need. For this job we need a ratchet driver, a 11mm socket, a set of compressing circlips pliers, a small improvised gadget. I use a socket but you can use anything that fits between the circlips and it helps push out the piston pin. And then a rag or a paper towel. With our tools ready, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide on how to get this job done. Loosen and remove the four nuts that are holding the cylinder head. Save yourself the time to remove all the nuts, you can just lift out the cylinder head with all the hardware in it. LML motors use a cylinder head gasket, we can discard that and then just pull off the cylinder and the gasket that's underneath. Next up, we're removing the circlip just on one side of the piston, but before you do that, stuff the paper towel down the crankcase as it avoids the circlip to fall down into your engine. Using the circlip pliers, remove the circlip. Using your gadget of choice, push between the circlip on the other side and push out the piston pin. Pull out the pin and remove the piston, but make sure you catch the wrist pin bearing as at this angle it will probably fall out. Again we chose a socket that just barely fit in between the circlip to make sure we can pull the pin out. Lastly, remove your paper towel or rag. Before we put away the hardware, let's make sure we have everything. We are left with a piston, including piston rings and circlip. We left one circlip in there and took one out. The piston pin and the piston pin bearing. We also have the cylinder head and the four nuts, washers and lock washers we took off as well as the cylinder. Thank you for watching, click here to get to the next video in this series. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you like this, you can support us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.